Hey, he's a Madden coin. Check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. They got the best prices. They got fast delivery and 24-7 custom support. Be sure to use code Texas at checkout for a 10% discount. Yeah. Marshawn just fumbled the ball at the two-yard line. Have you guys ever played those games where you know that you could beat your opponent, but he just happens to get the luckiest breaks to go his way? We all played those games. We all had games go against us. We all had games in favor of us where just things just kind of can skew the result of the game. The winnings and the margins in Madden is definitely there because a random fumble, a random tip pick, a random sack that doesn't even happen can change the course of a game. And our opponent I'm playing right now, man, he had a solid defensive game plan, but I was moving the ball against him the entire time. It just so happens that every time I got to the red zone, something fluky would happen. So I only ended up with three points and two red zone trips, which would have been 10. And our defense is balling. This guy has not done anything against us as well. So it's one of these games where it comes down to who makes the first mistake. And so far, we both have made a lot of mistakes as he throws the ball right to Keekly there, who catches picks. That guy is great in coverage for some reason even though he doesn't have 91 zone. So he's out here in that Tampa 2, 3-3-5 blitz. I'm like, I can run a ball against it. Nope, because Alex Mack cannot block anybody. Despite having 89 run block, he cannot block anybody. So I'm like, you know, we'll pass the ball right here. Got two clock on, we get this first down, two clock again, he ain't getting the ball back. Or so that's the plan. I want to go to Odell Beckham, but he's putting that linebacker in the deep blue. So the only thing is open is underneath stuff, and I make the wrong read. And I throw the ball right to his user. That was a nice lurk. He got me. And now it's time for me to pull some Russell Wilson magic trying to get this dub back. I had the win. I had the win. My defense was playing well. And then I ended up basically preventing them and just ruining what they did the entire game. But luckily, he only sends three, puts that guy in the spy, which gives me time to find Odo Beckham. He did not send a blitz that time. I don't know why he put him in the spy. It was shocking. That would have been a huge gain if I did not have terrible stick skill. But it's all good, though, man. Second and seven. I do not ID the mic, and you guys see the result. Sack. Halfback was open in the flats, but I did not make that quick read. I was looking for down the field, and that is why I got sacked right there. So, again, he's sending the blitz. I'm IDing it. My left tackle picks it up, which is great. I got time in the pocket. I don't know why my center disengaged, and he kind of prevents me from getting any positive yards there because he disengages. So I'm like, yo, it's fourth and 20. This game's pretty much a wrap. I don't have any fourth and 20 calls. I'm like, this is not going to go well. I'm hoping that I can get something here, but I'm like, you know, this is not going to go well, bro. I don't know what to do. I'm just like, F it, we'll just do this. I, I know he's sending that guy against. So I got to flip the play. And Larry Fitzgerald's one of the post route. He's one of the slow receivers. He's not going to get open if I throw him the ball. But luckily, we're like, all right, cool. We got the time in the pocket. We got some good stuff going on. And I had two guys open, and I make the worst decision I possibly can make. But it worked out for us. As we get the touchdown to Jarvis Landry, Russell Wilson rolls out of the pocket. Playmakers Jarvis Landry up the field. I had Andre Reed open on circle, and I pressed triangle. If I, either way, we lucked out. We definitely lucked out. We go some strip right there, and we get the W, giving us our 11th win for Weekend League. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Texas. And Weekend League for me is over. Got 11 wins. Lost one time. That one loss happened on stream, and I should have won that game. I should have definitely won that game. What had happened was, right, I sucked. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I was like... I gave my opponent that game. I missed the field goal, and then an overtime through a pick gave him good field position, and he basically went forward on fourth down so he couldn't be iced. And Keekly let Deshaun Jackson catch a pass on him in traffic. Can't you know about Madden being random, bro? I should have won that game, but when a linebacker going up against a receiver that weighs like 120 pounds doesn't get a hit or draw the ball loose, you're losing that game. So it is what it is, 11-1. We could have got to 15 wins. I think next weekend is going to be the weekend that I try my best to get to at least 20 because I think I can do it, man. I know everybody says the first six games are easy, and after that it gets a little tougher, and then you get to the like 15 and higher. That's when you're playing top to your opponent. So we'll see how that goes for me. But 11 wins, one loss, 20,000 coins come my way this Thursday. We will be good to go. So this is the team we got right now. I made a few wholesale changes. You guys can see my coin amount is up. When you guys last seen my coin amount, I think I was like, what, 1.5 million? 
I knocked out the Barry set, so Barry, which I kind of don't regret doing, mostly because I got a, I sold them for a pretty good price. I'll buy them back when this price does drop, and Barry's price should drop, I would say, in the next couple of days. Like, people are going to be getting closer to getting their cornucopia pack close, finishing up some of these sets, which means that we'll be seeing a, a, a decrease in Barry's price, which is unfortunate because that card happens to be the best running back in this game, and that's not a good thing because there's no unfakeable safeties, no unfakeable linebackers that are like that readily available. And because of that, it makes it really hard to bring down in the open field and everybody just spam spin move, juke move, and he breaks tackles like crazy. Luckily, I did not go against him this weekend league, but people that I watch have, and I don't want no problems with that card, bro. Hopefully, we get some new chemistries pretty soon. That way, we can actually tackle that man. But offensively, man, we got rid of um, DeAndre Reed. We got rid of Odell Beckham. Uh, who else do we have as well? We got rid of the Jack Doyle. And I think that's pretty much all we had. Everybody else is Nat. So I would sell other players, but they're Nat. And the only guy I can use that right guard right now that's actually good at pass blocking for the good for a good price is going to be this AJ Ken. Once they drop the power up sets for Lane Johnson and this Jarvis Landry, they will be powered up. My hoping is that this Lane Johnson gets lead the way because that's one of the chemistries or the abilities that they have in this game that we have not seen. And hopefully just Jarvis Landry gets like playmaker about already. That's pretty much all he can get, but he'll be better. But this guy is actually a really good receiver, man. He'll have 90 speed, great catching, and I can use him with Michael Irving as well. So I'm probably not going to sell Irving since he's going for like 130K. Like he's so cheap right now. So there's no point in me trying to sell that card when I can use on my roster. And then after we get that done, our offense should be pretty much almost complete. Got to power up this Alex Mack, and then I think we'll be good to go from there. Defensively, we got rid of a lot of players as well. We got rid of Paul Puzlesny. We got rid of James Harrison. We got rid of the Willie McGinnis. We got rid of a lot of cards. And the reason why, Black Friday promo should be out, I want to say midnight Eastern time on Thursday or Friday morning. And I'm hoping that we see some new cards then. And so I wanted to try to get my coin stack up just in case something good comes out. If not, I can always buy those cards back. I may, I may lose coins, but if something good does come out that may crash the market, those prices will be cheap. So once we go ahead and uh, see what promo comes out that week, our defense will get reloaded back up for this upcoming weekend league run where I gotta at least get to 20 wins. Well, not really, not really. I I'm in gold tier two right now. So if I get the gold tier one, I'll get double the rewards, which are better than they were last month because they're upping the overall 85 auctionable, 88 nat. And so we'll see how that goes for us. So I think I gotta get to 16 wins. No, actually more than that actually. Is it more than 16? Yo, yeah, about 16 wins. I think 16 wins gets me to the tier that I need so we'll, we'll shoot for 16 but try to get 20 as well so that's our defense right now I've got some highlights you guys are gonna check out after this but post down in the comment section below how was this weekend league run for you like what would you recommend how'd you place what'd you get what you how many games you win how many games you lose like what was your biggest struggle let me know down in the comment section I'll be down there talking to you guys and I will see you guys in the next video so hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you guys did subscribe if you are new and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace